So now let's go to the Mendelian disorders. Description patterns of single gene disorder. So like it was, I said earlier, it's actually um, divided into four autosomal dominant, autosomal recessive, sex linked dominant, and sex linked, sex -linked recessive. So I'll first describe um, autosomal dominant and autosomal recessive. So I made a table. It's actually from Kaplan. So you know, we'll just discuss the ones that are important. Uh, the ones that I will be discussing actually come from Robin's pathology, basic pathology. So for autosomal dominant, um, which is not actually written here, there's no skip generation, meaning all generation in the family pedigree will manifest the disorder. There is, there is also no sex predilection. Actually, both male and females can have or can transmit the condition. And in this one, I wrote it here, it requires mutation of one allele, meaning at least one parent of an index case is affected. And when an affected person marries a normal person, each child has a 50% chance of developing the disease. It is manifested in a heterozygote state. And I also wrote here, however, some affected individuals do not have affected parents. This can be explained by um, incomplete penetrance. The ability here, it is the ability of a person to, uh, of ability of a person carrying the gene, abnormal gene, not to express the trait. Meaning that particular person has it, has the trait, or like for example, neurofibromatosis has that um, autosomal dominant trait but does not manifest it. And I also write here variable. Variable is expressivity. It's actually the onset. The trait is expressed uh, differently in each person carrying the gene so it can be, um, the person can have it uh, at any age, at any point in time. And there's also a uh, new mutation wherein parents or siblings are not affected, but the next generation is symptomatic or uh, the next generation is symptomatic. So another important one for the autosomal dominant is uh, the mutation is actually a structural protein, usually a structural protein or a receptor, but like in medicine, there's no that's that there's no perfect world, and there is some exception, and there are some exceptions in the case exemptions. Let's go to the autosomal recessive. Autosomal recessive, there is an a presence of skip generation, meaning um, a recessive inheritance. There can be a person like for example, I can manifest a trait. My children will not manifest the trait. My grandchildren will not manifest the trait. But my great grandchild can have the trait. So there is a skip generation. And like in autosomal dominant, every generation will have a person who will show or manifest the disease. In continuation, for autosomal recessive, there is no sexual predilection. Just like in autosomal dominant, so I did not write it because it's not actually characteristic of autosomal recessive. Each child will have a 1 is to 4 chance of being affected. So imagine a 25% chance of getting the disorder. So usually, um, a pedigree showing autosomal recessive inheritance can actually um, come from consanguinity. Consanguinity common among parents of affected children. For example, there's a marriage within the family. In the, the, when, 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 when a person marries someone um, within, uh, within the family or in close relation to him or to her, there's an increased chance of expressing the recessive gene since both of them will have the mutated allele. So here, we will, in the requirement, there's a mutation of both alleles. There's also complete penetrance that is common in autosomal recessive and there is onset or frequently early in life. So the onset is early or uniform in life. Expression of defect is more uniform. Yes. 
and in new mutations affected individual is asymptomatic.